praise the Lord, son of God, child of God. It is time for you to rejoice because I've come this morning with a mandate from God and that mandate is to destroy a satanic proverb that has controlled your life, controlled your business, influenced your marriage. This proverb also influenced your father, influenced your forefathers because they do not understand. They do not have any man that will stand in the gap to dismantle and destroy and reverse this proverb. This proverb has been a hindrance to so many. It has entered into the mind of many people and has controlled their mind, has brought influence in their life. This proverb has intimidated people, has humiliated people, and many pastors have used these proverbs to rob their people. This day, I come to reverse that proverb. I come to dismantle that proverb. Child of God, get set to enjoy your freedom. Because by knowledge, depths are broken. By knowledge, cities are protected. By knowledge, defense comes. For they that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Exploit means the capacity and the ability to do the very unusual thing, to do the extraordinary. And what is that proverbs? That is what I came here to this morning, till this morning. And I want you to go and agree with me that it will work in your life as well. The word of the Lord came unto me again, saying, Ezekiel chapter 18, what are you people saying? What mean ye that ye use this proverb concerning the land of my people, saying, the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on the edge. What is he talking about here? He's talking about people who are, who are being influenced, who are paying the bill of what they didn't eat. And they are saying that the sin of the fathers shall be upon the children. No more, no more, no more. The scripture says here, in verse 21, Ezekiel 18, 21, it says, hmm. this verse 20 says, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. The, sh- the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he had committed and keep all my status and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. They have told you that your problem is the sin of your father. What your parents did, what your parents didn't do. That is what is afflicting your life. But tonight, this morning, I came here with a mandate from God from the voice of the almighty God, that that proverb must change this one in your life. That proverb that says, that has connected it to the iniquity of your father, that has connected it to begin to harvest a fruit of the seed that you didn't plant, that has made you to be paying the bills of what the crimes and the sin of your father. Today, it shall no longer be happening in your life. Therefore, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I revoke that proverbs, the influence of that satanic proverbs, and I decree and declare that it comes an end today, that you will no longer be dying for the sin of your father, for the sin of your great-grandfather. The proverb that has influenced your business, influenced your journey, influenced anywhere you go, it's attacking you. I decree right now that that proverb be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I dismantle that proverb. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I command that proverb not to work in your life again, not to work against you anymore. For the soul that sinner shall die, because you are not the person that committed that iniquity, I decree and declare that it comes to an end, that influence of that iniquity comes to an end in your life today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that that proverb to be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Holy Spirit of God, let the forces of darkness that is bringing such proverbs into manifestation against your children cease from now. Let it cease from now. That proverb is thereby terminated. The influence is no longer going to be upon your life. For the soul that sinneth shall die. You will not die for your father's sin. You will not die for your brother's sin. You will not die for the sin of your parents. The sin of your parents shall no longer influence your life. Shall no longer influence the works of your hand. For today you have been set free from that proverb. I destroy that satanic proverb. Where it says that the fathers eat grave and the children sit at edge no more sitting at edge for that is not your iniquity in the name of jesus I separate you i separate you from the influence of that proverb i separate you from the activities of that proverb i dismantle the demon that is using that proverb to attack you that is using that as a command as an influence over your business by accusing you by telling you that you have to suffer for what your father has done in the name of jesus you know what suffer for the sin of your father in jesus name suffer no more in your business suffer no more in your ministry suffer no more in your marriage suffer no more in your life Suffer no more in the land where Shakatoroboska, in the land where that dwelleth. You will no longer suffer for the sin of your father. You no longer suffer for the sin of your mother, for the sin of your ancestors. Hey, let their causes be upon them, not upon you. No more, no more. I said, no more shall you suffer. No more shall you die. No more shall you be frustrated. No more shall you be shall, shall you be commanded shall, shall you lose things, lose your harvest because of the iniquity of your father. In the name of Jesus Christ, that proverb is hereby cancelled and revoked. For God said that no more shall the son suffer for the sin of his parents. You are frictions. That is that is they were using to play on you, play tricks on you, play pranks on you. He said, "By destroy in Jesus' name, I pray every satanic prank against your life." He said, "By destroyed in Jesus' mighty name, I pray go and be happy with your life, for you will no longer pay for the bills, be the bills of what you didn't eat in life." In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, child of God, don't forget that you will never go down in life. You will never go down in life. I want you to say it. I will never go down in life, in business, in my health, in my academics. My children will never go down in life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. You are blessed for life. You are blessed for life. Whatever you're looking for will begin to look for you. Your hands will never run dry again. And don't forget that you will never go down in life. In Jesus' beautiful name I pray. Amen. Are you going through life challenges? Are you discouraged in life? Come to Resurrection Force Ministries and watch God transform your life through sound biblical teachings and prophetic force using his servant, Bishop Ogo Wems. You must fulfill your destiny in life. Resurrection Force Ministries, also known as Beautiful Gate Assembly, the church that wins through friendship. Worship with us every Sunday, 8 a.m. and every Wednesday, 5 p.m. at number 11 Omokwa Street behind ESBS TV station, Enugu. For prayers and counseling, call 0803-783-8933-0806-851-1009. God bless you.